Just waiting for Dineo to join in. I'd normally be playing music in the background, but um, I was running a little today, so just patiently waiting for her to join. Hello, Mzo. I see you. Welcome. Hello, Tsiri. Okay. Hey, Jojo. Welcome, everybody. I think let me just play some music. Let me find music quickly to play because I don't know. She should be joining shortly. I just spoke to her on the phone. But let me see if I can do this simultaneously. Okay, let's see. Let's do it quickly. Come back. Hey, Dina has just joined. Okay, Dino is connecting. That's why the music has paused. It's just currently loading. Oh, ah, hello. Hello. Can you hear me, Dino? You're frozen there a little bit. Let's see. I don't know what's going on. I can hear you. I'm so excited to see your headgear. How? What a coincidence! Like I'm looking at you all, I and know. I'm like, I can't. Like, people will actually think that we planned this, and we didn't plan this at all. And we did it. And this was a last minute thing. I got it a few hours back. So, yeah, I'm glad that we were tuned into each other in that way. Hey, we are so in tune. We are so in tune. There's a bit of a... So the room that you're sitting in, it's a bit dark. We can't see you clearly. So I don't know if you change. Are you going to be able to change your angle? Because like, um, I even switched on the lights. I know that... Let's see. We can't. I don't know how much it nice I can make I it. I even have aids of some lamps here to try to get some light going. Is that any better? Uh, it's slightly better. Yeah, it is. It is somewhat better. But then there's also feedback that your network is also like sort of because there was there's been a bit of a time lag. But now I see. Well, we have to rely on the audience to hear if it's gotten better because now I can see you in real time before you were kind of just like glitching. So, mm. yeah. Let me see. Uh, okay, then. I've got like, you... all the lights I could get on in the room <laughs> to work, but I can see it's a bit yeah. dark. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's better than when you, were, when you were back there. So I feel like we can, we can make mm. do what we've got. Um. Mm -hmm. No, don't go back. Because if you go back, it's a lot darker. I'm trying to get the lamps to support us with more light. All right. Yeah, this is better. This is better. And now the network better. also... Yeah, and the network apparently... CD is saying that the network is um, working now. So, amazing. Oh, my yeah. queen. I am so happy. I'm happy to have you here. And I am even more excited about the way our dupes have come together when we didn't even coordinate it, that is something truly special. I am blown away. And it's, it's not I'm even glad something I followed that... the intuition that said I should. Yeah. Isn't, isn't intuition mm. such a powerful thing? Is it not such a yeah. powerful thing? Yeah. Sure. It's available and so lovely when it then bears the fruit that you never even expected with the end result of it. Because I first saw when you were logging in and you had it on and I just, just had a moment of like, how did she know? And I'm glad that <laughs> I honored that side of me that said, wear it today. Yo, I'm, I'm absolutely blown away because when I woke up, usually I'll know what kind of look I'm going for, like just on the day when I wake up. So it's not like I plan it in advance, but on the day I'm like, okay, you know, I've got this that I can wear. But for some reason today when I woke up, I was like, this is exactly what I'm going to do. I don't know how it's going to work. And you see this little creation here on the front. I see you also have that V-shape over there. Yeah. I, I don't know how that came about. Like, that is something beyond us. I <laughs> uh, it even works. We both have our own queenery here. Power to the queens. Power to the queens. Power to the queens. Cool. 
Um, yeah, so I think let's, 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 we've had a moment to both settle in. I logged in late. Sorry to you because you were ready. I know you were ready. Um, my wife, I was just showing me flames. And I think the audience, just to put a word out there that we're going to rely on you guys just to let us know if there's like a, you know, a connectivity issue or whatever. Because sometimes when we are having the conversation, we don't realize that the audience can't hear us. So yeah, let's, let's enjoy the conversation and let it flow. Let's, let it take us to where, you know, we are supposed to go with it. Um, yeah, I think just as a, really. starting, as a starting point, who is Dineo? I like to start with that question because I think it really gets us into the conversation. So who is Dineo? Well, there's so many ways I could answer that. I will start with five current definitions of who Dineo is. Firstly, Dineo is royalty. Only because my creator is the king. So that already. Secondly, Dineo is <laughs> one of creation's best manifestations. Like when I just look at how the human body is created and how the soul expresses itself through the body, it, it amazes me, and I get to have this experience. Um, thirdly, I would say I am... <laughs> I am love. I am love. I think that would summarize it on so many levels because I'm love when I'm in this body because of how I feel in it, but also how I re I'm received by other people. I know that that's where I'm created from. I come from an energy called love. So I am fourthly a seed, a seed of God. And as my father is, so am I. Since he's a creator, so am I. And lastly, I'm Dineo in the human body who has the opportunity to currently be a mother and a fiance and a sister and a daughter and a friend to many. Sure. Sure. That is a mouthful. And it's such an injection of love. When you spoke, I was like, I'm listening to you the entire time and I'm captivated and you're speaking about love and how you're such a creator because you've been created by the king and that's why you are royalty. Have you always known this about yourself? When did you get to a point where you realized that or did you always know? We are all born knowing and I knew certain truths when I was very young, but what helped is also the background that I had. On both sides, my grandfather's were priests and they were lovers of people and they would always tell stories and look at people with kind loving energy and that set me up to really believe in the greatness and the people of uh, the greatness in other people growing up so for me it was never something i had to question and naturally then if other people are great and being a human of myself then surely i'm great too hmm. And mm. that's the outlook I've had. And I remember two points when I was also in primary school in Soweto and when I was in a primary school in Middle Primary, which is a Model C school, I would be given peers in Soweto to help who were not getting the required pass mark. And then when I would explain, this is me at maybe eight years old, and I was asked to tutor my peers. And then they would get no. it and then the marks would improve. And then I was like, then why did they even need to question that greatness? I didn't quite understand the concept of people failing in school. Because then when I was able to then share the basic knowledge that I understood that the teachers were imparting, they were able to pass very well. Because I just knew I had to just point them back to that greatness. Also, when I was at middle primary, I remember listening to friends telling me stories about 
oh, I got into trouble at home and my dad is not nice to me for this and that reason. And I'd sit there and I'd be like, but it seems like telling that story doesn't let you have a happy ending when you're always feeling like the victim. And I would sit them on the grandstand and I would say, okay, sit below me and I'd massage their temples. I don't know where I got that from. And I'd be like, tell me your story. And they'd tell me the sad story about how this is happening at home and it doesn't please them. Then I'd be like, tell me another version of the story where maybe you'd feel better or maybe you'd understand from your father's perspective maybe why he felt it was good for him to reprimand you in that way. That maybe you could see something from another perspective and see that you're not such a victim. So I, I literally started maybe my psychology, <laughs> um, psychoanalysis in primary school already. And I took it very seriously. It was something that I did very consciously. And by that time, I knew definitely that there's a seed of greatness in every human. And my, my joy is to point back at everybody's greatness. Hmm. Sure. That started so early in your life. At eight, you were already, you had identified, I mean, I suppose at that point, you couldn't quite articulate it and say, this is, you know, what I've been called to do. This is my part. This is, but already at that age, having that sort of impact on other people, so growing older, obviously you've grown older now. And what has that, that experience been like? Have you tapped more into that? You know, being able to, I think having the awareness Sorry, I've got a little guest that I must shoot away. Guys, please close oh. the door. Please close the door. I have my little one also who came to just tell yeah, me bye -bye. her leg is sore. <laughs> oh, is that pillow? pillow? Yes, that's pillow, yeah. Me. How are you, pillow? And Buntle. <laughs> Come around the side. And Buntle. And Come up. And Buntle. Say hi. Hi. Uh, and Buntle. <laughs> <laughs> Come to and they, they, they were given the directive to give me some time but they love me so much they had to come see <laughs> what I'm up to <laughs> are you guys okay now yeah. can you go back and enjoy yourselves outside yeah. thank you yeah. bye what? let's continue yes. like, you know what our favorite person you've seen her we see why we have to keep our space. And I think that's what you need to do with kids. Like communicate, talk to them and say, you know what? Validate them. I see you. We'll do it right again. When I'm done, we'll be back. So that's a beautiful yeah. thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, mm. so, so the question I was asking was, so you obviously have evolved as a person and it started quite early on in your life with you. Either aware or not, I think, you know, some of these things you're calling, I, I like to call them callings. You... You start doing it without even realizing or even being aware that's what you've been called to do, to bring the greatness out in other people. So having grown older now and being at the age that you're at now, how have you then almost, you know, with that awareness and being conscious of it, saying, okay, now I'm going to be deliberate about what it is that I do, or I'm going to elevate myself in this way so that I, I'm able to actually bring out more out of people. Now that I'm aware really that it is a gift of mine. So the question really to summarize it is how have you gotten to the point where you're at now where, you know, I speak to you, I've spoken to you on the phone and I keep saying to you, you've got so much, your energy is incredible. You know, someone listens to you and there's no way that I can, I, every time I've listened to your voice notes, I'm like giggling like a small child because, hey, you just have that impact. For the Dineo that is a woman today versus the Dineo that was a young girl earlier on, how have you really taken that and said, I'm rising up to this and I'm actually going to serve with this gift of mine? Well, you have been a blessing yourself. The timing that you got to have my sister on your platform a short while back, because that was actually me coming to my own point of acknowledging that I have actually been on this journey and I have been doing it correctly, even at times when I didn't feel like it. I've actually been honoring this calling. What's been also affirmed in me is everybody has this calling. I'm no more special than anybody else, yet I am as special as everybody else because all of us have an internal compass point. 
that God puts in all of us and it's called love. And therefore, it then puts all of us on the equal playing field. It just depends on how often you tap into it. And that's how you'll know that you're being called because I've been learning as now I had a dip in life where I actually felt like I wasn't getting it because I've been searching for certain answers and certain understandings for 16 years where I consci consciously went to study psychology and varsity and I had my undergrad degree and I had five things that I think I picked out of the three years study and that's what set me up for the next 16 years to really confirm if what I thought about human nature is true. Is it natural for people to love? And what does it mean when we move away from that true north and we then shift from being anxious and fearful and then end up feeling like we should terminate our life experience because now it loses meaning. The only meaning there is to life is love. And once we lose that center, we then feel like there's no love and that's when we want to check out. But that true north sits inside of all of us. It's, it's like an apple seed. As soon as it falls to the ground, it's in its nature for it to know that it shall bear apple fruit. And that's the true north in the apple seed. Nobody has to teach it. It doesn't have to grow into it. It just manifests it or brings it out. Sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, um, I spoke to your sister. She has come on this platform. And as I was talking to her, and I was telling her about her energy and everything and how, oh my goodness, oh my gosh, because the whole time I had goosebumps. And she said, listen, when you speak to my sister, when you speak to my sister, <laughs> you will think, wow. And I, I'm curious, like, do you guys, is there... Uh, uh, I mean, is it something about the way your upbringing? What is it that you, you know, you realize you're saying that what I'm getting from what you're saying is that we are all, you know, you talk about the apples, uh, the apple and how the seeds, we all contain these things that are amazing. We're born with these things, but I don't think everyone realizes it. And that's why there's people like yourself, myself, who are sent out to the world to remind people of what lies within them. And I just feel sometimes, you know, I don't know if it's anything. That's why I'm asking you. Does it have anything to do with your upbringing that was a catalyst to this point? How did you quickly realize, like, why, why do you know this more than the next person? They already have it in them. They're just not so aware. What is it about you that made you then get into the space and know that fully with confidence? 